My name is Matt Hilton. I'm a family physician with Han Hospital Family Medicine. Today we're going to be talking about the three pillars of health, which are sleep, nutrition, and activity. These are not necessarily the most exciting topics, but they are super important topics for your daily health and your overall life. The first one is sleep. That is the cornerstone of our health. That is what I visualize as the base of the pyramid of health. Um, if sleep is compromised, everything else can suffer downstream from that. The general recommendation for most adults is seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Um, some people do better with more, some people do better with less, but typically you're gonna run in that range for optimum sleep. One of the keys you're gonna look at is, do I feel rested when I wake up? Am I making it through the day without pounding coffee continuously? Um, and that's a good place to start. Speaking of caffeine, Caffeine and alcohol are super common in our culture, but are also very common culprits of compromised sleep. Even caffeine in the morning can be in your system at night um, and affecting the quality of your sleep, not necessarily your ability to fall asleep though. So you may wanna to talk to your doctor about how to optimize sleep. The second pillar of health is nutrition. My mantra with this is stolen from an author, Michael Pollan, who said, eat real food, not too much of it, and lots of vegetables. And I think if you distill it down to that, that's really all you need to know. Five cups of fruits and vegetables per day. A cup is a little bit bigger than a baseball or about the size of your two hands put together, so you can estimate that. Um, you wanna get lean proteins. You wanna shop the outside of the supermarket where there's real foods that actually came from a plant or an animal. Seeds and nuts and whole grains are also very important parts of our diets. One of the most common recommended diets is the Mediterranean diet. That's what I typically recommend to people, although people have been successful on low carb diets, on keto, on vegan, intermittent fasting. There's lots of different ideas out there and there is no one size fits all. Anybody who tells you that is not looking out for your best interest. If you need more help on this, I would definitely recommend talking to your doctor and consider a referral to one of our dietitians with Holland Hospital. And finally, we need to be prioritizing our activity. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to join a gym. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be part of an organized sport. People sometimes ask me, what is the most important activity that I can do or what's the best activity I can do for myself? And I say, the one that you enjoy, because that's the one you're gonna do. Typical recommendations are to get 150 minutes of moderate activity per week, which is about a brisk walk, if you can think of that level of exertion or 75 minutes per week of vigorous activity, which would be more like a run or a jog. Now, this can be broken up. It doesn't have to come in any kind of minimum size. We know that anything is better than nothing. An example of this I give to people is if you took a brisk walk over your lunch break every day during the week, you multiply that by five, you get 60 minutes of moderate activity for your week. That's an hour of walking that's really good. So that's just an example of small things adding up to something bigger. Remind yourself that something is always better than nothing when it comes to activity. If you need assistance in your health in any way, especially optimizing your sleep, nutrition, and activity, talk to one of our primary care doctors at Han Hospital and they will be glad to help you.